Wednesday. It is the big, well I would say big, but it's not really, um, Christmas, we do have coat hooks down the hallway, just the door's easier, um, the big Christmas food shopping haul, but not very big because, um, I've said this the other day, we've already bought our meat from the butchers, we've bought our chocolate log from the cake factory, and Christmas pudding we've already got, pigs and blankets we've already got, and obviously all of our nibbles I've been buying with my nectar prices over the last couple of weeks. So although it is our Christmas food shop today, it is not like a big Christmas food shop. I would hazard a guess at the end of this what price a big Christmas food shop would have cost if I'd have bought it all in one go. Um, but yeah, we just got back. It wasn't too bad actually, we went to Sainsbury's and I don't think hi, it was... Mommy. Oh, hi Sienna! Um, it wasn't very bad at all actually, to be fair, although Kev did just pop into Asda. Oh, hi, <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> However, Kev did just pop into Asda. I waited in the car, um, and he said it was mayhem in there, absolutely heaving. But Sainsbury's was quite chill. Um, so Kev's going to scrub the fridge because it needs a yay. It needs a good clean. I'm going to put out. All, I did get you some cheese strings. We haven't had any cheese strings for a week, and Sienna loves a cheese string, so I did buy her some. Um, yeah, Kev's going to sort out the fridge and give that a good clean, and I'm going to lay out all of the food shopping and probably have Sienna diving in it and having a look what there is. Is that right? Okay. She's literally like this in the bag looking for a cheese string. I don't think you're going to find them in that bag because that's not the fresh bag. Not that bag either. I think, oh actually you might have been. Oh no, I think they're in the bottom of this bag. In there somewhere. No. Oh maybe I didn't pick them up. Maybe I left them there. Also today I've been trialling my um, Christmas roast potatoes. Christmas day we're having roast potatoes, honey roast gammon and like nibbles. Um, that was a full bowl when I went shopping. Not anymore. Anyway, on to the food shopping. This food shopping I would like to last us until after Christmas. So I'll kind of explain as I go along. Oh, there's um, a bit of a stray rosemary there on top of the chicken. Um, I've got two milks um, because I didn't want to buy more than two because of fitting it in the fridge. I've got a strawberry milk and a banana milk. Um, for whoever wants them and then I've got Sienna her little happy monkey milkshakes that she likes also got Felicity her Outpro chocolate milk she doesn't really like the soy milk just plain but she does love this Outpro chocolate still cutting her back on um, dairy and giving her a powder when needed and she seems to be doing okay at the moment um, but yeah the plain soya she's not keen on at all I've got some luxury coleslaw to go with our Christmas Day food. So Christmas Day we're having honey roast gammon, roast potatoes um, and nibbles. So we're going to have some coleslaw with that. I've got one pack of these Bliss cheesecakes there on my prices at the moment for £1.69. Obviously I'd usually buy a couple of these and a couple of that. But because of fridge space over Christmas and because we're going to be eating all the Christmas food, it's just not necessary. So I just picked up one packet of those. Um, these are currently on offer for a pound and they are Reese and Sienna's favourites. So I picked up two packs of those. These are on offer again for £1.50. They are delicious. Um, so I bought those as a Christmas treat. So I've got a chocolate orange and a plain chocolate. The David Stowe cheese I bought last week, it got eight. It was supposed to be for Christmas and it got eight. Um, everyone's been eating it. So I've picked up another block for Christmas and a block of ordinary cheddar just for, you know, whatever it's needed for on top of dinners or sandwiches. Um, then I've got some strip cheeses. They were on my prices for one seventy five, and there was four cheese strings. There is now only two. Probably going to be only one in a second. Riley, do you need one a cheese string? Sure. Sure. There we go then. So four cheese strings do not last very long. Um, cheated with the Brussels sprouts because not everyone eats them. The only people that eat them are Kev and I think Sienna. Well, I know Sienna. I did think Riley, um, but he's just told me no, he doesn't. Um, so these are the ones that come with bacon and chestnuts and it's just to chuck it in the microwave. It's easy, right? Um, so I got those. They were £2.50 though and you can buy a bag of Brussels sprouts for 19p. Um, so they are expensive. Um, I've got one thing... Of 
of chicken to make a chicken pie or a chicken curry after Christmas or before Christmas. We were working it out. Yeah, you can start with it there, Kev. Um, we were working it out that we've got tonight's dinner. So we've got meatballs for tonight. There's a, another almost whole tray, a big tray in the freezer. Um, so we only need to get one small tray. So they've got meatballs and spaghetti for this evening. So that's the, what date are we on today, Kev? 21st. 21st. And then we've got the 22nd and the 23rd. So we've got to chicken to make something like, what we're going to make, I can't remember, either a pie or probably a curry. And a mince, or I'll make a spaghetti bolognese. And then it's Christmas Eve, and on Christmas Eve we're going to have a takeaway. And then it's Christmas Day, and then it's Boxing Day, um, and then we'll probably go shopping again. I oh, know we won't, that's a lie. Then we're going to have bubble and squeak with leftover gammon, a turkey pie and beef that we'll have left over as well so we've got three big joints of meat so we're not going to need it all for christmas so that sees us right up to the new year so that's my thinking on like meal meat wise um i've got two packs of bacon although i did forget to buy paninis knew i forgot something kev when i was in the bread aisle um, i'm gonna have to grab some paninis bacon paninis and smoked bacon we wanted streaky smoked bacon but it was all sold out but that's to go on top of the turkey crown one thing of eggs we had the last pack of eggs um there was cheaper ones but we had the last set of free range although they're probably not free range because of bird flu um but those were the last pack of eggs on <coughs> eggs on the shelf in sainsbury's and um, we've got butter and a few cheeses so we've just got a camembert a borsin and a brie we've been i've been picking up cheeses all through the last couple of weeks so i think we've got enough for christmas and then frozen i've got some sliced leeks for going in the pie i didn't want to buy fresh ones because they're just not going to keep until after christmas so we've got some frozen sliced leeks i've got two packs of chicken steaks because the kids are off school at the moment and they keep having chicken wraps for their lunch i also picked up a box of fish fingers so they can have fish finger sandwiches for their lunch and two boxes of these ice cream lollies that they all really enjoy um, and then snacky bits from the frozen aisle for our boxing day food not boxing day food our boxing day food that we're gonna have on christmas day I've got 10 of these mini steak and ale bakes, some of these salted caramel profiteroles because they look delicious, some hoisin duck spring rolls, although picking up one box is probably not enough, Kev, there's only 10, and there's yeah, really like... Yeah, I can eat five. Yeah, exactly, but what about everyone else? <laughs> we probably should have picked up a couple of boxes of those. Um, and they won't eat it. Yeah, if he tells them it's quack quacks, they won't eat them, but I think everybody will eat those, so we probably should get another couple of boxes. And then I picked up two, I did the right thing with these, picked up two of those, two of the Indian inspired mini selections. So that is our bit of frozen snacky food for Christmas day. And like I said, we've got lots of cheese already in the fridge, so we should have plenty of cheese we'll for Christmas day. Food. Yeah, we've got to find somewhere in the freezer for all of this, because currently the freezer is full of all of the meat. Cupboard stuff, I've got a case of 24 Pepsi Max. I know I only bought one of these in the last food shop, and I intended on them lasting till Christmas. Well, they didn't. I'm drinking far too much of the stuff again, and if it's in the house, the big kids will drink it as well. So I've bought one more case to see us through Christmas, and then I won't be buying any more big packs of Pepsi Max, because um, I really do need to cut back on it again. I did so well. Um, and then slowly over the last few months it's crept back up to me drinking far too much of the stuff in my defense I don't drink tea or coffee but yeah I do drink far too much of that um, and then I've got one bottle of cherries and berries four times strength squash I've got some ketchup Kev needed coffee I picked up this um, snowy blonde chocolate spread it says it is um, white chocolate and caramel flavored spread so that was all of these sort of festive things were all being reduced down to get rid of them before Christmas um, I can't remember exactly how much it was but it was cheaper they didn't have any of our usual chocolate spread so they've got that instead I've got honey for cooking with it goes on top of the gammon and we use it in a lot of our like um, sticky um, sweet and sour no sticky sweet chili chicken recipe um for the curry i'm going to do butter chicken i've got one of these in the cupboard so i only needed to get one um i've got some sweet corn some chopped tomatoes tomato puree and um, we'd also run out of sugar so we've got some of that um, we'd also run out of marmite 
I picked up another Christmas chutney. We've picked up this festive tomato one. Again, those were being reduced. Mango chutney to go with the curry. There also should be some poppadoms. I heard them hit the floor a minute ago. I think Sienna knocked them on the floor. Um, but we do have some poppadoms to go with the curry as well. Um, I've got the um, Thousand Island Seafood Sauce for Prawns. Although, excuse the shouting in the background, that's the kids in the front room. Um, I haven't got any prawns yet because they were very, very expensive, what they had left in um, Sainsbury's. So I'm going to have a look elsewhere. Um, I've got some mint sauces. We've run out of that. I've got some more cranberry sauce. I'm pretty sure we've got cranberry sauce, but Kev was like, uh, let's get some anyway, just in case. Um, the girl asked me for some gherkins. So we've got some gherkins. And Sienna asked me for some pickled onions because she really likes those. So we've got some of those as well to add to our like nibbles. Um, a lazy... Um, meatball sauce for tonight because it's knocking on time wise at the moment so quickly just chuck that on some meatballs job done um bits that i needed for my gammon that i'm doing in the slow cooker was cinnamon sticks black peppercorns and star did anise um i've also got some did you say pickled onions i did say pickled onions <laughs> yeah <laughs> does anyone else have a um five-year-old that loves pickled onions and this um, one is i also got you some gherkins as well yeah and I, earlier on she was on, on about pickled eggs so she loves anything pickled and but yeah, i've got some goose fat to go they're over here at the back look why do you want them open already yeah <laughs> go to daddy with the them gherkin. then oh the gherkins not the onions go to daddy with them then off you go um yeah goose fat for doing the roast potatoes whilst cheese is so expensive it's just cheaper to buy the packet mixes than it is to make cheese sauce from scratch so we're gonna have um cauliflower cheese with our christmas dinner on boxing day so we've got some mm. cheese sauce sachets are they nice mm. yeah <laughs> i've also picked up some more of this roast um roast potato seasoning because it is really really lovely um i made today's roast potatoes without it just with like salt garlic and rosemary um, and they're nice but they are really nice if you do them with this seasoning so i picked up some of that and um, that again was also reduced some sweet pickle to go with the cheese custard and jelly um, to make a trifle i do need to still get cream um pringles because we've already eaten two tubes of the pringles that was on our snack station so they're just to replace those ones i also picked up these parmesan and garlic twists and some sea salt can you show them what, darling? You eating a gherkin in a minute? <laughs> in a minute. Um, so sea salt and cider vinegar crisps because they're yum. And Kev's got some of his favourite what's it. They're not for Christmas. They're not for Christmas. They won't even make it past 10 o'clock tonight. Um, I've picked up these. It won't, it won't no the gherkins won't last long either especially if you go and tell summer you've got them um i've got some curiously cinnamon cheerios yeah. we've never had those before but they were on offer um for two pounds and also some chocolate hazelnut squares not the healthiest of breakfast cereals but hey ho um i've got a child that eats gherkins out the jar so i don't think i need to worry too much about them not eating healthy food um i've got some mr kipling bake for slices and these are my favorite the little um battenbergs and i wasn't going to pick them up and then kev was like go on it's christmas so I did pick them up yeah they were £1.15 at the moment so they're on offer and then obviously we get a discount on top of that dry roasted peanuts to go on the snack station and some of these tuck cheese sandwich biscuits as well for um, Sienna really likes those the tuck biscuits these cheesy tuck biscuits you like those don't you Oh, apparently she doesn't. Somebody likes them. I know someone in this like house. Them. Kev likes them. I like them. Maybe it's just me and Kev that like them. I love it when I do this. Like one of th That child really likes that. And then they go, no, that's not me. I don't like it. And then I have to try and figure out which kid it is that likes it. Um, soft white bread. Two packs of wraps. And one pack of part bakes. They've actually put these down in price in 90p. Um, can't remember how much I paid in... Uh, da, da, da. it was cheaper than 90p though in Audi the other day but me and Reese ate a whole pack last night with our homemade soup so I'm just replaced the ones that we used last night toilet roll because you know we all need toilet roll I also needed hang on Sienna um, I also needed a new toothbrush because mine is knackered um, and that was on offer for 150 I've also got some bleach some fairy liquid a one of these um, bird feeders for the um, the birds outside some bubble bath and some beer for Kev. And Sienna is desperate to show you all. Come here then. That you eat gherkins out of a jar with your fingers. Oh, Sienna. You're going to turn into a pickled gherkin. Are they yummy? 
I don't like a Pokemon because they got no red colour. Oh, okay. She doesn't like the ones at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, that is anyway. That is all of the cupboard bits and bobs. So I'm going to pop all, pop all of this away and then on to the fruit and veg. I'm going to have to leave Kev to finish this vlog because um, I've got to go into town. I've completely me forgotten. Um, I need to go collect Summer's new glasses from Specsavers. And I'm going to hide these ones. I'm going to hide the hide pets. I put four actually. in the fridge. I know, I'm terrible. I just and I'm going to hide the rest. Um, but I'm still literally putting this away at the moment. I don't even know where to put it all. I don't know either. Because of um, all these extra spices now. And the spice rack is cool. The spice rack is absolutely chocolate. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go and take the summer to get our glasses and leave Kev to show you our um, fruit and veg. Right, guys, you're back with me. I've managed to pack all the other stuff away and now I've got this. I thought there was more than this, but there's obviously not. So we have got... Some big oranges, some saksumas, some bananas. Um, that is, oh, and some apples. That is it for actual fruit. And then we got a Swede for Christmas Day because Kaylee wants Swede mash. She likes that. I'm not a big fan of it. Some peppers. Not entirely what these are for because we don't need them for any meals. I have got some peppers in the fridge, but I think Kaylee got some extra points, so she brought some anyway. And if we don't eat them, the rabbit will eat them anyway. Honeydew melon, some more mushrooms. Um, we can never have too many mushrooms. Some parsnips, some Brussels sprouts, two bags of potatoes. These are the really cheap ones at the moment. Every near enough, every supermarket is doing 19p veg. So the potatoes were 19p, two bags of carrots, they were 19p. Cauliflowers, they're not, they're normal price. I got two cucumbers, iceberg lettuce, a red cabbage, because I'm going to do a braised red wine and onion cab red cabbage for Christmas. And I got three bags of salad tomatoes. One is for the kids and that for the wraps and whatnot. Two, I'm going to make a tomato and basil soup for the ones that want soup for lunch, for starter for Boxing Day rather than prawn cocktail. So that is it for the fruit and veg. It's now the next day and I'm having to end the grocery haul vlog because although Kev did a brilliant job of showing the rest of the vegetables and he did an ending and told you the total and all of that jazz, um, his camera, I don't know what's going, on, going wrong with it, whether it needs updating or not, um, when I've gone to edit the footage together, his lips are out of sync with his voice and it's just complete write off. However, last night we filmed our entire wrap with me video, which was over an hour long on Kev's phone. And I've not looked at that footage yet to see if it's been affected by the same thing. I'm hoping not, because if it is, I'm gonna have to just ditch that whole video because there's nothing worse than watching um, anything where the, the voice is out of sync with the lips. So anyway, back to the food shopping, it was, a hundred and seventy seven pounds around about. I can't show you the receipt. Well, I've got half a receipt and then the receipt was coming out of the machine and it fell to the floor because it was the end of the till roll and I couldn't be bothered to ask them to put a new till roll in and print me another one. So it came to around about 177 and after colleague discount, it was 140 something. I think it was 144 something like that, um, but it was under our usual £150 budget, but that's because we've already got the Christmas meat, we've already got all the nibbles, we've already got pigs in blankets, um, I have now picked up stuffing, I picked that up um, in the Sainsbury's in town when I was picking up Summer's glasses, um, so I think we are all good to go for Christmas, had I have had to, you know, had I put it all together in one shop, I think it would be around £200, maybe between £200 and £220. Um, but I'm feeling pretty chuffed with the way that I've done things because, I'm a Sienna, um, all, of the, all of the snacks, all of those like yummy bits have all, and the cheese have all been bought with nectar points. And um, yeah, and then obviously we ordered the, the meat from the butchers. So I think that we've done really well this year for keeping the Christmas food shop um, within like a, an okay budget. Last year I went out on Christmas Eve and I was completely um, dragged into all of the frenzy of all the reductions. You know, I was buying turkeys at 75% off in Aldi and, and all of that sort of thing. And I've said this year, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm trying to not give in to the Christmas twitch. You know, when Christmas is getting closer and you start thinking, 
oh maybe I should buy a couple more presents or have I bought enough or should we buy this and should we eat that um because I think we're all guilty of getting that bit of a twitch before Christmas and I'm just trying not to get into it because we won't eat all the food like to be fair half of the stuff that I've already got piled up on the side over there I keep looking at it and thinking right Christmas is in a couple of days I don't think we're even gonna eat all of that um so yeah I'm trying not to get dragged into all of the Christmas frenzy and all of the you know FOMO fear of missing out because I'm pretty guilty in the past of of suffering with FOMO and getting dragged into it all so anyway yeah I think we've done okay that's all of our Christmas food shopping done pretty much done with the Christmas present shopping I've got a couple of bits I need to pick up tomorrow and then I'm going to finish what wrapping I need to do tomorrow evening and then I can relax Christmas Eve I can spend at home with the kids um doing our usual like Christmas Eve tradition of going to Chris Dingle and yeah and then it'll all be over and it'll be um be quite sad I do love Christmas um but it's stressful when you're a parent right and you've got to organize everything um so yeah anyway thank you for watching this video and we will see you all tomorrow